as about greetings. Paano nga ba natin dapat binabate ang isang tao sa isang sitwasyon? Okay, so I hope that you will enjoy this video and of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell and to click the subscribe button. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day Ayan. So, eto mga conversation starters. So, ibig sabihin, papaano ba natin dapat sinisimula ng isang conversation? Or, papaano ba natin dapat binabate ang isang tao? Okay, so kung naging asasyante ko kayo, actually, um, lagi kasi ako nagbibigay ng, ano ba, parang uh, outside lesson, parang ganon, sa mga estudyante ko. And so, ito, naglista ako, nilista ko para hindi ako malito. So, kung may nakalimutan man ako, okay, so I'll try to make another video, part 2 of this discussion. And kayo rin, kung if you want to share something, do not forget to put it there sa ating comment section. Okay, so the first one is Hi and hello Ayan Hi, hello Tayo, nung bata tayo, uh, parang nasanay tayo Hi, hello, hello, hi Ayan, pagsabihan tayo pag, pag sinabihan tayo ng hi Dapat daw ang sagot, hello Pag sinabihan naman tayo ng hello Dapat ang sagot ay hi Okay, so hanggang ngayon Dala-dala natin siya Okay, actually There is a big difference between hi and hello. Pag sinabi natin hi, it's informal. You will just greet a person hi kung siya ay kaibigan mo or sabihin na natin um, someone na malapit sa'yo. Okay? Hi. Kaklose mo. Hi. Kasi it's informal. Okay? Different with hello. Kasi pag sinabi natin hello, it's formal. It's a formal language. Hello. So, you will greet a person, hello, kung siya ay may position higher than you or if you have a, you know, professional uh, relationship with each other, you have to greet each other, hello. So, if the greeting is high, you have to respond with a high. If the greeting is hello, your response should be hello. Second, Halimbawa naman, uma-attend tayo ng uh, isang wedding, kasal, kasalan. Okay. Yung mga bisita, okay, lagi yan, babati sa'yo, congratulations. Yung iba naman, best wishes. Okay. So, matalas natin naririnig yan, congratulations and best wishes. Okay. Ang tanong, what is the difference between congratulations and best wishes? Okay. Actually, ito, natutunan ko sa professor ko nung college ako sa PNU. Okay? So, there is a difference between congratulations and best wishes. So, pag sinabi natin congratulations, ito ay sasabihin mo sa groom. Okay? Babatingin mo yung groom ng congratulations. Sa bride naman, you will say best wishes. So, always remember that. Congratulations for the groom and best wishes for the bride. Siyempre, may kasal. So, siyempre, meron din tayong ina-attend na funeral. Ayan. So, pag funeral, ano yung madalas natin naririnig dyan? Yes. Condolence. Okay, condolence. Okay, it should be condolences. Laging may S. My deepest condolences. Our condolences. Okay? Hindi siya condolence. It's condolences. Next. How are you? Ayan. So, pag tinanong tayo ng how are you, okay, the response should be very short. Okay? Kasi pwede mo sabihin na, I'm fine. Thank you. And you? How about you? Parang ganon. Or, how are you? You can say, I'm great. And how about you? Okay. You have to return the question. Okay, pag sinabing, how are you, there is a no need for you to mention everything. Okay, and do not respond in a negative way. E, eto nga, eh, malungkot ako. Okay, no. Hindi po pwedeng ganon. Okay, the response should be simple. 
okay? And it's always positive. The response should always be positive. Kasi, it is just a conversation starter, okay? So, ibig sabihin natin ka lang, Uy, kamusta ka na? So, hindi ka mag-share doon ng, you do not need to go into details. Okay? You just say, you just say, I'm fine, and thank you. Or, I'm great. I'm doing great. Okay? Okay, next, we have, how do you do? Okay? So, ayan, nisa talaga nalilito tayo siya eh. How are you and how do you do? Pagka tinanong ka ng how are you, the response should be positive and very short. You do not need to go into details. Kaiba naman sa how do you do. How do you do, kapareho lang siya ng hello or hi. So, the response is, if the question is how do you do, the response should be how do you do too? Okay? Kasi nga, pareho lang siya ng hi or hello. Okay? So, I do not know if may kumagamit pa rin ng how do you do today. Pero, if someone will greet you, how do you do, the response should be how do you do too? Next. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Yan. It's good to greet a person. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Pero kung formal, you want to use them in a formal way, you have to mention the name of the person that you are greeting. For example, mm, Good morning, Drew. Good afternoon, Drew. Good evening, Drew. Yan. So do not forget to mention the name of the person that you are greeting. Ito, last na. Okay. Nice to meet you. Or, nice meeting you. So, which one is correct? Nice to meet you or nice meeting you? Actually, there is a difference between nice to meet you and nice meeting you. What is the difference? Nice to meet you, sasabihin mo yan pagkakita ninyo sa isa't isa. And it's a polite way to greet someone. Nice to meet you. Yan. Pero, if you will part way, it's time for you to say goodbye. So, you will say, nice meeting you. Okay, so that is the difference between the two. Pag kakababati mo pa lang, kakakita nyo pa lang, you will say, nice to meet you. Pero kung maghihiwalay na kayo, you will say goodbye. It would, you have to say, nice meeting you. So, it is a very short video. I hope that you learn. Okay, and if you want to share something, kung gusto nyo magdagdag pa, okay, feel free to write it sa ating comment section. Okay, so bye! Every single day, I'm gonna make